It's the most desperate, most pressing quest in sports. For some teams, the quest has been never ending. With the first pick in the 2007 NFL Draft, the Oakland Raiders select quarterback Jamarcus Russell, LSU. Franchise quarterbacks are the NFL's most precious commodity. Almost 100 quarterbacks will wear an NFL uniform this year. But when it comes to finding a permanent answer, teams would be wholly satisfied with maybe 12. Sometimes well, it looks like Aaron Rodgers is playing at a different level than other quarterbacks. That's just a smart play. Two thirds of the league remain on the lookout for their Aaron Rodgers, their Cam Newton, their Ben Roethlisberger, their Drew Brees. The best place to find a franchise quarterback? The draft. But there are serious problems with even the best method. It's highly unreliable. With the uh, third choice, the Cincinnati Bengals select Achilles Smith, quarterback, University of Oregon. The wrong decision can undermine an organization for years, oftentimes making them chase and chase and chase. Cleveland, for one, has been a quarterback graveyard. Tim Couch, Brady Quinn, Brandon Whedon, Johnny Manziel, all of them first round flameouts. In Buffalo, the risk of misfiring is simply avoided. The Bills have drafted only three quarterbacks in the first two rounds since Jim Kelly in 1983. Ignoring the issue doesn't work either, as the Bills' 16-year playoff drought illustrates. Not only should a team not ignore drafting a quarterback, but it also better pull the trigger quickly. Ryan looking, end zone, touchdown! 41% of last year's starting quarterbacks were drafted no worse than fourth overall. 28% were taken first overall. This year, the desperate trend will continue. The Rams and Eagles are expected to take Cal quarterback Jared Goff and North Dakota State quarterback Carson Wentz 1-2 Thursday night. And they're nowhere near sure things. We're not talking Andrew Luck or Cam Newton here. In fact, we're probably not even talking about opening day starters. But to find that franchise quarterback, teams are willing to gamble more than ever to fulfill the quest. And Tim joins me now with more interesting twists with Sam Bradford, who was the face of the franchise with the Rams taken first overall six years ago, and then the future of the Eagles, and now he wants out of there because of their obvious intentions. How surprised are you that these two teams are giving up so much in order to take these unproven quarterbacks? Well, not only even at the end of the college season, but even just a month ago, people were projecting Jared Goff and Carson Wentz to be, I don't know, the eighth overall pick the 10th, the 12th, something like that. So now you have the Rams and the Eagles giving up all these draft assets to move up to get these guys who might not even be their team's starting quarterbacks this season. And I went back and looked it up, Rod. Since 1970, only five quarterbacks who were drafted first or second overall did not become their team's starting quarterback in the first half of that season. So you have Carson Wentz, Jared Goff, some unpolished guys. But still, so much was given up to get these guys. It just underscores the importance and the desperation of this position. It really is crazy when you think about it. Are there any other teams you can see rolling the dice and taking a quarterback in the first round? I don't think any other teams are going to trade up to get to that position. But you have to take a look at the 49ers at number seven. Paxton Lynch there, although that seems very early for him. But you have this run on quarterbacks, this desperation overvaluing. Uh, maybe the Browns at number eight. Uh, they also have so many other holes to fill, and they do have a couple of quarterbacks on their roster already. How about the Bills at 19? That's a team to keep an eye on. They do need a quarterback. They only have Tyrod Taylor for this season that they know of for sure, but they have so many other needs, and this is a team that has to win this season. As for trading up to get into the top five to draft a quarterback, pretty uncommon. Only twice in the last 10 years has it happened, and that was when Washington got Robert Griffin uh, the third, and also the Jets back in 2009 took Mark Sanchez, and neither really worked out all that well. And we could see it twice in the same draft, 1-2 in 2016. Tim Graham, thanks.